Hey guys, so the character that I chose from Tony Stone's play was Alberga. Um, I think he's personally the most important character in the play other than Tony. Um, so he's also, he's like the manager and owner of the team. And he's also the husband of Tony Stone. Um, so I think, uh, yeah, so his objectives is to obviously make the team, like help the team do well, but also like help, specifically help Tony as she wants to pursue a career in baseball. Um, which is, you know, aside of what so many people told her, like, you know, not to do it. Um, and yeah, I think some of his, you know, personal and public images is he's, he's probably, he, he, he doesn't like, he's, he's like helps the team a little bit. He's not over pushing them. He, his, his players kind of seem to feed off his energy and he's, he seems pretty liked around his team with the way he handles things. Um, but I also think like uh, some of his inner conflicts is he isn't sure how to manage the team as a whole. Like he doesn't know, does he want to maybe drop some players? Does he want to, you know, keep the team how it is, um, which can be overwhelming as, uh, you know, someone that's the owner of the team. Uh, it's obviously much bigger than that. You know, it's about kind of keeping everybody, you know, like, like it's about keeping everybody like, you know, intact and, you know, you might have to, you know, drop some players along the way. Um, but overall, <laughs> I think he might be unsure of what team, what direction he wants to go in. So, um, and I think some of his uh, character flaws as someone who's the owner, but also the um, the husband of Tony Stone is he might be, he might like interject in Tony's like, you know, like he told her like uh, in, the, in the play to like, to not play baseball anymore. And I think that's something that he lacks, like, is the ability to give Tony a little bit of freedom. Um, he seems he's, he uh, seems to love her, but he seems to also care a little bit too much. Um, and Tony doesn't seem to, you know, really listen to him. Um, as he's, like, another person that told her that to not play baseball. Um, but overall, his motivation as the owner and the husband of Tony Stone is he needs to help her along the way. You know, as someone playing in the Negro Leagues <clears throat> and, you know, someone who's kind of a big, uh, you know, try, trying to make a career out of it. And also his motivation is to have, you know, a good time with his team and, you know, make sure that they all are in the best position to succeed. Uh, partly why he's pretty liked around the team. Um, so his motivation is to kind of do it the right way and have fun with it. So, yeah, like I said, I think he's... He, it, it reveals like that he's, you know, helping her along the way. Um, it also feels like the fact that he cares too much and Tony doesn't seem to listen shows that Tony's a little bit more passionate. She seems to have the passion um, knowing that what she wants to do. And uh, regardless of what uh, uh, he Alberga says or what anyone says, she seems to have that one goal and seems to be driven. So... <clears throat> Yeah, and a couple questions I have. One, what do you think Alberga's uh, effect on Tony Stone was? Was it positive or negative? And the second question is, do you think, uh, from reading the, the whole book, do you see him as that he he has something to fix, or do you think he's overall doing a really good job being the owner of the team? Thank you, guys.